Hey foodies, I'm here with Chef Taylor Bailey at Aeronymous, Hi. and uh, we are hanging out on the oyster bar back patio, patio yep. and we are checking out two dishes. We're talking today and dining and dishing about reinventing old classics. And um, you were sharing with me this dip that I've, sorry, it's kind of devoured by me halfway, but it is so amazing and delicious. It's a smoked- Tile fish. Tile fish uh, pate. dip, pate dip. Yeah. And it's inspired by an old classic here. Yeah, it was uh, inspired by an original dish that was handed to each customer as they arrived at the restaurant with daily bread, um, which was typically, from my knowledge, was generally grouper. Um, when we we went it, we went back and took the basics of that recipe and kind of reinvented them with the hickory smoke. Um, so we're taking the ribs and jowl meat from the grouper or tilefish or triggerfish and uh, we're taking it and hard smoking it over hickory wood to give it a different flavor profile and different depth to the dish. And it is super smoky, y'all. And again, I'm sorry for already having eaten some of the pickles that it served alongside. You guys make those in-house too. We do. Um, we make a different variety of pickles and we almost stock them at all times. I say almost because they fly off the shelf. Um, but right now we had a sweet uh, bread and butter pickle. We had a chow chow pickled veg and a local pickled beet with My Lady Goat Cheese and rosemary olive oil on the bottom. But uh, yeah, the pickles kind of add a variety to the dish where it's really, really good conversation fare. Um, it goes really, really well with beer. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot going on, but the jowl meat and the rib meat is dormant meat, so there's not a lot of muscle tissue, so it tends to be a lot fattier, so it's extremely rich. We take that and hard smoke it for um, flavor, and then we blend it with uh, house seasonings, cream cheese, rosemary, parsley, uh, horseradish, a little bit of garlic and lemon, and it's just a great conversation piece. And so good. Just uh, a really nice touch. Awesome. And then tell us about this gorgeous dish. Right here we have a Frogmore stew, which is, um, the name comes from the town of origination near Beaufort, South Carolina. It's going to be a mixture of a turmeric rice pilaf, lentils de poi. We have little neck clams that have been smoked on hickory to give a little bit of depth. We have a house handmade into a sausage and shrimp. We make a, uh, we start by peeling and deveining all the shrimp um, and then adding a lot of bay leaves to a cheesecloth, tying it off, boiling down some onions and garlic and just basic mirepoix to make a stock. Um, once we have that, we, in a separate pan, we make our lentils de poi with a little bit of red wine, sugar, vinegar, onions, garlic, lots of garlic here. And, uh, <laughs> Um, once again bay leaves and then we combine the lentils with the stock and create our rice and then we add in our shrimp and clams tomatoes onions celery um, carrots corn mustard greens turnip greens kale and we finish the dish and basically we boil it out to the broth until it com almost completely dissipates from the pan and then you get this nice caramelization of rice at the bottom that really kind of will make you think a little bit about paella um, but it has this really woodsy earthy flavor with a little bit of sweetness that gives us nice stuff and then you catch a little tone small tone of smoke at the end but uh, just it really is a kind of a wild harmonious ride for your palate awesome thank you chef taylor my pleasure